In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium carbonate plus barium chloride. So the first thing we do for net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. As I look at the molecular equation, I can see I have an ammonium ion here. I have two of them here and only one ammonium ion over here. I'm going to put a two here. That also gives me two chlorine atoms, which is good because I have two there. I have one carbonate, one carbonate, one barium, one barium. So this equation is balanced. That's the molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. So ammonium compounds are very soluble if you know your solubility rules. So we're going to put an AQ after that. That means aqueous. This will dissolve, split apart into the ammonium ions and the carbonate ion. Chlorides, very soluble. And then we have ammonium chloride. But this barium carbonate here, carbonates in general are insoluble except for ones in group one and ammonium carbonate. So this is going to be insoluble. We're going to write an S because it won't dissolve. It'll be a solid. When these two substances react, we end up with this solid. This is a precipitation reaction. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So we have the ammonium ion and the whole ammonium ion here has a one plus ionic charge. That's one you need to memorize. So we have ammonium NH4 plus, we have two of those. The carbonate ion, the whole thing has a two minus ionic charge. So we have our carbonate CO3 two minus. Barium that's in group two on the periodic table, two plus ionic charge. And we said the chlorine here, this is the chloride ion. Each one is one minus. So I have Ba two plus, and then I have two of these chloride ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have the plus and the minus. So we have two ammonium ions, just like in the reactants. And then we have two chloride ions. And then for net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we're just going to have BaCO3. And this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. They haven't changed and we're just not interested in them. So when I look at the reactants here and then I have the products, you see I have two ammonium ions here and in the products. I have two chloride ions right here and in the products. Everything else is unique and that's the net ionic equation for ammonium carbonate plus barium chloride. I'll clean this up, write the states in. I didn't do that. And then we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium carbonate plus barium chloride. You'll note the charge is balanced. I have a two minus and a two plus. They balance out net charge of zero. And this is a neutral compound net charge of zero over here. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. You'll often see the positive ion written first. It really doesn't matter. It's the same equation. Maybe this looks a little bit nicer. But either way, this is the balanced net ionic equation for NH42CO3 plus BACL2. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.